Talking of all you experts, it was a big year. It was a big Hi there. Year. Welcome to Relax Brew. Ricky Gervais is an entertainer and jokester known for having big brass balls. He will, in a real sense, get out whatever is at the forefront of his thoughts without caring whether individuals will like him for it. He will make jokes that no other humorist will. Indeed, he has gotten a ton of reaction for that, yet he has gotten more acclaim for making statements that no other person would. This was the situation at the 77th Annual Brilliant Globe Grants, held in 2020. He made jokes for eight straight minutes. And, surprisingly, however, the room was loaded up with abnormal chuckling all through the entire time, fans appeared to partake in all of it. Well, the comments were perfect, with numerous positive remarks. Be that as it may, by doing this, he could have simply forfeited his profession. All things considered, was it worth the effort? Furthermore, even better, has he expressed anything about why he forfeited his profession to uncover Hollywood? How about we find out? Throughout the entire existence of the Brilliant Globe's grants, there has never been a questionable opening discourse like the one done by Ricky Gervais and the 77th Yearly Brilliant Globe's grants in 2020. He, in a real sense, went after ruler Andrew, Jeffrey Epstein, and woke Hollywood overall. Subsequent to conveying the most dubious discourse ever, Ricky Gervais later uncovered the intentions behind the television second. Despite the fact that there were around 200 individuals in attendance, the show was seen by an excess of 200 million individuals around the world. Ricky Gervais was conversing with the series Connected Web Recording when he said, Do I pander to the 200 self-images in the room or the 200 million individuals watching all over the planet? Furthermore, there's no challenge. I understand what I will say. I'm not there to demolish their evening. I'm there to make individuals at home giggle. The entertainer, who was facilitating the honors function for the fifth time, guaranteed that the function was only an ideal chance for him to utilize his best jokes before a unique crowd. He later discussed how he needed to compose seven minutes of his best jokes, which he will presumably never use from now on. He said, it's a ton of work for seven minutes, yet the result is astonishing. I mean, there's no crowd like that. In any case, even after so much, he won't ever show any indications of regret or lament for what he said. He hit back at the analysis and even doubted him in light of the fact that the discourse also, to every one of the people who condemned him, he said he was simply playing a reckless person in his job as host. The entertainer likewise contrasted himself with David Brent and Tony, who are characters, alluding to his fault finders. That's what he referenced. They were ignorant that his stand-up persona and his personality at the Brilliant Globes were part of the way a demonstration he depicted an intense person there, aiming to upset the night for the liberal elites. He underlined that he had fastidiously created those jokes to be great. Be that as it may, what precisely did he say during the honor service? The 77th Yearly Brilliant Globes grants were held in January 2020, and the crowd, both in the setting and at home, was in for a shock. The second Ricky made that big appearance, he began his assault on woke Hollywood. Be that as it may, there is something else. He additionally kidded about Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, and Sovereign Andrew. He additionally addressed points such as Metu and ISIS. The second he began talking, the elite crowd was jumping. Be that as it may, it improves. Stars like Tom Hanks, Robert De Niro, and Gwyneth Paltrow were totally left with shocked looks on their faces when Gervais taunted Felicity Huffman over the school confirmation outrage, marked James Corden an enormous P, and what's more, to read Judy Dench for licking her own genitals in the discourse. He referenced a great deal of awkward points and, what's more, things, all of which got the group's attention. Notwithstanding, there were also snapshots of obtuseness. One such second was when Ricky Gervais prompted those getting the honors to try not to give political discourses. He let them know they were in no situation to the general population about anything prior to adding, on the off chance that you win, come up, acknowledge your little honor, thank your representative, and your god, and F off. The English entertainer, having recently expressed that this would be his last time facilitating the honors, censured the participants. He remarked that despite the fact that they guarantee to be socially cognizant, the acts of the organizations they partner with in China, such as Apple, Amazon, and Disney, were surprising. He further hinted that, assuming ISIS were to send off a web-based feature, they'd presumably connect with their representatives. Following the entertainment ceremony was finished, individuals via web-based entertainment began showering their commendations on Gervais for bringing down the Hollywood Foundation unafraid. Moreover, many individuals cherished the awkward responses that were coming from those in the room. Notwithstanding, some found Gervais' jokes a little difficult to stomach.
Worf's Morgan complimented the humorist on his best eight minutes. Be that as it may, as per a survey of the evening in the Chicago Sun-Times, Gervall was so purposeful in praising himself for being tense that he neglected to be entertaining. There were a couple of stunning minutes in the speech, for example, when Gervais commented about the demise of pedophile tycoon Jeffrey Epstein. That's what he remarked, existence in the wake of death is a show about a man who needs to commit suicide. Fair warning, season two is coming, so he didn't off himself. Very much like Jeffrey Epstein. An immense wheeze from the whole crowd met this comment. Be that as it may, he multiplied down on the comments saying, quiet down. I know he's your companion, yet I couldn't care less. For those who are feeling a little befuddled, Epstein was tracked down dead in his cell at the Metropolitan Restorative Place in New York in August of 2019. At that point, he was anticipating preliminary charges for various sex offenses. At the point when a post-mortem examination was finished, it was seen that he had hanged himself. Gervas likewise made one more shot at Felicity Huffman, who was imprisoned for her part in the school confirmation outrage that year. Huffman had quite recently finished an 11-day spell in prison in the wake of conceding to paying $15,000 to get one of her girls into school. Gervais referenced that they had come there in their limos and added that he had arrived in a limo whose tag was made by Felicity Huffman. He further commented that he felt frustrated about her girl, proposing that what was happening was significantly more humiliating than her dad being in wild hordes. Numerous people in the crowd answered with astonished chuckling, and Tom Hanks seemed shocked. The remark was fairly nervy yet hilarious. Gervais, who has additionally never facilitated the Mad 2 time previously, made an effort there. He remarked that there were a wide assortment of stars in the room, and they all shared one thing for all intents and purposes. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. New Yorker essayist Farrow was one of the key players in exposing sexual wrongdoing in Hollywood and uncovering the shamed Harvey Weinstein. Later in the show, Gervais presented a clasp for the film Bird Box. He depicted it as a film where individuals get by behaving as if they don't have the foggiest idea of a thing, similar to working for Harvey Weinstein. In any case, Gervais wouldn't stop his joke there. He additionally derided what he alluded to as pedophile films. He expressed discussing all your distorts. It was a major year for pedophile films. Getting through R. Kelly, leaving Neverland. The Two Popes. Just a little to snicker at his own joke as the group heaved and let out anxious chuckling. In any case, he followed this up by reminding them he couldn't care less. All things considered, he opened his talk by telling them he doesn't mind since it will be his last time facilitating the honors. Gervais was investigating every possibility, going after as many individuals as he could. He even went after Institute Grant Champ Leonardo DiCaprio and made fun of the age gap between him and the ladies he dates. At the point when he was saying this, cameras right away moved to Leo to get his demeanor. Also, it appeared that the entertainer, who was dating 22-year-old Camila Morone, had the option to ridicule himself. He was found becoming flushed and grinning while the rest of the room chuckled. Through the giggling from the whole crowd, Gervais added, even Sovereign Andrew was like, come on, Leo, mate, you're almost 50, child. Ricky Gervais truly addressed a ton of themes in his speech. In any case, he didn't mind at all the individual's thought processes about it or how they responded. Very much like he said at the outset, he didn't care. Despite the fact that the majority of what he said was simply jokes, some were really difficult. This was an exceptionally incredible gamble for his profession, considering that he is still in the media. Notwithstanding, from that point forward, he hasn't had any repercussions. Many individuals applauded him for all he did that night. Others guaranteed that it has been quite a while since somebody shouted out about the things occurring in Hollywood. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.